Okay, hello guys. So this is the Realme XT, the RMX1921, and in this video I will show you how to upgrade to Android 13 using a custom ROM Drupus. Okay, I will show you all the steps. Okay, to flash the custom recovery, to flash the firmware update, and also test lots of stuff. Okay, so it is uh the best rom for android 13 i can say like that it's very fast very smooth and it doesn't have a major bug so in this video i will also will test the camera the wi-fi the sim card recording video taking a picture uh playing music and video and lots of stuff okay so for the verdict i will tell you this is one of the best rom okay so you should try it if you want to try the new android 13 ui display so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys i'm like with again with envelopes so Today I have a Realme Pond, this is the Realme XT and in this video I will show you how to flash the custom ROM based on Android 13 Okay, first thing to do like usual, let's go to the settings and let's uh, check the S18 system you can see right here, it's Realme XT on Android 10 and the code name is rmx1921 okay bit number is 11 underscore c04 okay this is not the latest stock firmware <coughs> the latest stock firmware is android uh, sorry the realme ui2 <coughs> i still use this stock rom because we cannot to unlock bootloader on the realme ui2 okay so you have to use the realme ui1 <coughs> and if there is any questions how i can downgrade you can easily use the rollback package package okay and all the file and step i will provide in my blog as usual you can check the link in the description box okay it has 80 gb of ram and 128 gb of storage okay <clears throat> like usual let's enable the developer option by hit the build number five times then go back back again additional settings developer options and you can see right here my bootloader has been unlocked okay don't ask me why <laughs> eh, sorry i mean don't ask me how <clears throat> because the pawn uh, already unlocked before okay as i made this video the realme temporarily stopped the bootloader process and you cannot do the unlock the color so i'm just going to make this video if <coughs> they already fixed the bootloader server you can do this one or you already unlock your pawn okay and already unlock the pawn it means that we can boot it into the uh fast boot okay now let's go to the fast boot mode and now the pawn has been turned off let's go to the fast boot mode by pressing the floma down and the power button at, at the same time and when you see the screen you have successfully goes to the fast boot mode you can see right here device state unlock so i already unlocked this one and next step let's open the cmd and in here i already have all the files that needed okay this is the custom rom uh, we're going to use the derp first okay and this is the step okay, as i said before <clears throat> if you want the real me ui you must roll back okay roll back just a zip file put it into micro sd and put it into the sock recovery okay after that you're good to go to the realme y1 
and lock the bootloader as usual wait if you haven't you should wait until the realme have new announcement if you already do it you can use this tutorial okay <clears throat> and then next step we need to flash the recovery okay let's just copy this one fast boot uh, sorry space recovery uh, and we're going to use this one okay <clears throat> and when it's done we can put it into the into the custom recovery okay back to the pawn and navigate using the promo promo down and when you see the recovery mode right here press the uh, power button okay it will boot it into the custom recovery and now we are in the custom recovery okay just swipe it and then go to the wipe menu right here advanced wipe and select the delphic data cast uh, and system okay swipe it <clears throat> go back uh, go to the home menu again okay go to the install when you where you have all the files that you have copy <clears throat> and then we're going to flash the realme i2 okay this is the realme i2 firmware this is not a full firmware okay so the size is just 115 megabyte it's just contain the vendor and also custom recovery Okay, select a file and swipe it. Okay, it will not take times. <clears throat> Size. Okay, you can see right here. Blessing we to. Uh, okay, from here I want to change the custom recovery. I'll go to the install and I'm going to use the PBRP right here. Okay. Select so WebRP, swipe it. And it's using JWRP 3.7 as the base. Okay, now let's select reboot and select recovery. You will get a warning sign or as install. Just ignore it because we just wiped the system. Okay, after this. We can flash the custom ROM. Okay, let's wait. Go to the install and select your micro ST. Okay, select the folder and let's select the dirt fast under the routine. Uncheck all the option and swipe it. Okay, it will take time because the size, the gap version is about 1.7 if I'm not mistaken. So let's skip this video and we'll continue, continue after it finishes. And now it's already done. Let's hit the home button. Now it goes to the wipe menu, select format data and tap yes. Okay, hit OK. And when it finishes, we can reboot to this system. And let's wait. Okay. So as I said before, it's recommend using the gap version. So you don't need to need to install the gaps again because sometimes <clears throat> there will be a compatibility problem with the gaps if the gaps is working or not. Okay, you can see right here we have a very nice animation, and uh, it means now it start booting to the home screen okay. so now we're back and i have finished install some apps and uh, i already turned off the pawn okay first thing i want to show you is the offline charging charger working so i have turned off and plugged the power source and you can see right here it is working so we don't have any problem with the offline charging 
Now let's turn off the phone. Okay, so we are now in Android and <clears throat> I already set up the fingerprint. Okay, let's test the fingerprint. And nice, it's working. I also already set up the face unlock. Let's try the face unlock. Okay. It's working. Uh, I think you cannot see the face unlock. Let's try it again. I will put it into my face and you can see right there. It's unlocked. So the fingerprint and the face unlock is working. Okay, now let's check the email. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know the email. Okay, so we have our email. There is no problem with the email. And you can see right here. We also have a SIM card. Okay. I'm using the Bayou SIM card or Telcom Cell. Using the Telcom Cell network. So SIM card is and Wi Fi also working. <clears throat> and next, let's try the. GPS. Mm, lots of you guys going to use GPS and I think it's working. It is precise in my location, so no problem with the GPS. And next, what else? Mm, okay. So let's open the dev check. Right here. Realme XT on Android 13. Okay, very nice. Hardware Snapdragon 710. And the clock is between 300 and 2.3 gigahertz. Yeah, you can see right here. It takes about 3.7 gigabyte from a total 8 gigabyte and it takes about 20. 13 gigabytes from 128 gigabytes for internal storage. Okay, very nice. Next, let's test the security of the system. Okay, let's open root beer. Okay, usually root beer will use we use root beer to check if there is root access. Okay, very nice, not rooted. And then safety net. <coughs> Safety net usually used to test for banking apps and uh, e wallet, maybe some of you guys use it. And app list detector will read the uh, exposed images. Okay, very nice. It's no problem with the security, and it should. And you should install the uh, M banking and other stuff. Guess seems that all working. Okay, now let's open the CPU throttle. It will test the CPU to make it stress to to make it load lots of workload. Okay, the performance is about 115, very nice and very stable. You can see right here. There is no uh, up and down. Okay, very stable. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, nice. And let's stop this one. Oh, maybe if you guys want to see the menu. <clears throat> it's using the under routine menu and very nice, very smooth. I feel... I don't feel any lag on the spawn. Okay. Under routine. Uh, sorry. Let's open it. The first Android 13 official security update, August 5, 2023. Very nice. Okay, so I'll be back. Back again. And in here, we'll, we'll, we still have the Realme part. Okay. The Realme menu, audio amplification, will be apps. Yeah, you can set the movie music and other stuff what else we have the space okay status bar better setting 
clock setting status bar you can change all the stuff very nice ks panel you can change the notification quick settings uh lock screen and other stuff okay very nice lots of customization you can change in there yeah we can we also have a very nice menu right here okay location ah lots of stuff lots of goodies okay <laughs> and we have a uh, many power button also many power button in the android routine okay you can see it's very smooth lots of many power right here power off screenshot panic triggers to me why and stuff nice so i already test the camera and the video from the front and back and the result is very nice i will show you okay this is the result from the back camera and this is result from the front camera very nice okay nice i don't know if you hear my sound or not but it's very clear so we don't have any problem with the audio recording okay Okay, nice. So the camera and video from the front and back is working. Very nice. And let's test the fast charging. You can see right here the fast charging is working. It's running about 2 ampere. Okay, the power is about 8.6 watt. And the current charging is 1.9 or about 2 thousand milliampere okay nice so the first charging is also working and now let's test the sound and video playback okay let's open youtube and search for my channel maybe <laughs> um, bop, bop, breaker. okay and <clears throat> if you guys uh need to search something like the Samsung phone, show me Samsung custom ROM other stuff you can find it in here there is lots of video okay maybe some of you maybe some of the video will help you I don't know okay let's find a short and play the short music okay the test the video and sound playback Oh, the sound and video playback also working perfectly okay maybe it's not very clear from the microphone but uh, clearly it's working okay so I think it's all guys <coughs> I think this is, it is the best ROM for the realme XT I don't find any major bug for this one it's very smooth very fast it still have the nice camera from the realme the sound and other stuff okay if you have questions feel free to ask in the comment section okay i hope it helps you take care and see you in the next video wassalamualaikum <laughs>